Hey guys, you know, if you would uh, come to my place, uh, especially the ba basement, you try to do clean up here, and during clean up, I bet you would probably find a few pretty cool and uh, interesting things. Like, for example, this one. So, as <laughs> story goes, I decided to clean up uh, a little bit on, on my shelves, and, um, e and I found this, and this was sitting there for quite a while, to the point it actually not a current anymore. So what it is? Uh, so this is mixed style Gana. I don't know. Jana, Gana, probably Gana. I bought this probably a year and a half ago from DF Robot. Uh, because at the time I, th I was so pumped uh, and keen to build. Hmm, build what? Oh my god, that's the, a lot of packaging, but it's worth it. To build a smartwatch. So, yeah, so this is smartwatch. So this is first time I actually unpackaging this thing because for, how the hell I completely forgot about this thing. I shove it somewhere in a dark corner of my, okay, go away, of, of, uh, of a drawer and completely forgot about the existing of this thing. It was sitting there for quite a while. Um, so, uh, I, anyways, so what it is? This is smartwatch development kit from a com company called uh, Mixtile. Uh, sounds like a pretty cool and neat idea at the time, a year and a half ago. Uh, and it was not expensive, it was like $30. Uh, US, uh, I bought it and I, th I thought it's, you know, worth a while, worth a shot. Um, so especially knowing what's inside. We're obviously gonna look what's inside, but I can tell you actually up front. So this thing's supposed to, uh, or it is, it has MediaTek 6260 um, uh, system on chip, like a main processor and uh, Nordic Semiconductor um, uh, NFR 51A22. <laughs> Uh, as a Bluetooth low energy device, which is a system on chip on its own, but much uh, slower uh, microcontroller. Uh, also, it has a little screen. Um, not sure what kind of screen it is, um, but it's clearly black and white screen, so probably like, uh, you know, um, similar. I, I, okay, sorry, I don't really know what kind of screen it is, but it's a black and white screen. It has teeny tiny. 300 milliamp hours battery, uh, USB port, several buttons, like uh, four buttons, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's pretty neat and cool device. It's, it, it's pretty small actually. It probably runs. Um, uh, I don't have any measuring tape around me, but uh, it's like 25 millimeter this way and probably like 40 millimeter this way and probably one centimeter or 10 millimeter deep like 9 10 millimeter including the battery yeah it's pretty compact it's a bit hefty you can feel but probably mostly because of the battery and it has all this plastic pop it's uh, pretty hefty plastic but i mean you know if you compare it with uh for example what i have here lying around a micro bit all right, I have micro bit just, just beside me. So, you know, it's much smaller than micro bit. Look at this. Substantially smaller. It's like two of these almost will fit into micro bit. All right, so yeah, so it's nice and neat and it has a little uh, display, uh, which is pretty cool. So what are we gonna do today? Actually, we'll try to power it up. Uh, we'll try to look inside uh, and to see what it possibly can do. Um, and to see if this is even worse, uh, whatever, $30 or worth playing with it. Because this thing has a secret and it's dirty secret. Um, the dirty secret is the company who actually developed this thing sold it and now they completely discontinued. No, no, it's not discontinued. It ab they abandoned it. They completely abandoned this a little kit. Well, I think it's a pretty neat kit. Uh, and only DF Robot, as far as I know, sells them. But it's kind of weird because no support, no official pages, like nothing. The only some zip files are 
whatever exists is on DF robot and there is a bare minimum of information exists about this thing even the official company like doesn't even mention about uh, that they ever developed this one and the company from China I don't they have like, I mean that yeah do want nothing uh, do want to say anything but uh, customer support is still bad so anyways let we stop here stop criticizing let's look on the hardware and uh, and this well and the software too okay let's look up this bad boy a bit closely so as you see it's uh, again in comparison with my to my fingers it's pretty uh, small device now you can see in details oh sorry in details here three buttons here the battery a USB port and another button here the screen uh, there is you see that actually here it's 2014 April uh, I guess that's uh, it's like wow it's uh, two and a half almost three years ago nothing on this side nothing on this side as I understand this is like flexible antenna which is pretty cool which is pretty cool so uh, let's try to look what's inside uh, not much of a screws or anything like that is around here it feels like this is uh, this would be possible to kind of pry pray pry and uh, try to open uh, so it's pretty black plastic and sometimes you just you don't really see it very well but here that's what I'm talking about okay I'm gonna grab a screwdriver around over here and we'll try to do some surgery Try to not to break it before I actually power this thing up ever first time. I don't even know how to pry this open. Come on, alright, here we are. Oh cool. Now it's much more interesting. Okay, here's the battery. This is like sticky pad. And it, I think it has also either a speaker or a vibration motor. Hard to tell. Looks like speaker. USB port. Uh, here's the wire or flexible uh, flexible cable running to buttons. It's the battery. All right. Let's dive further. Looks like I'm gonna need even smaller screwdriver. Look at this super tiny. It's an interesting flex cable. Super tiny screws over here. They like super tiny. Not the tiniest screws I ever seen, but pretty small. And one of them here over here. Alright, okay, now this can go up, but you have this flex cable. I don't really. Mm, this is getting kind of into territory. I don't want to un. Okay, that was easy to detach. Right, so looks like. Sorry, I keep coming off camera. Looks like uh, this one is just a little flex to board connector. I'm gonna lift all this contraption all together. It's... Actually, it's very nicely designed. I like it so far. I like it a lot. Or I don't want to rip this thing off. Do I? Ah, okay, that's that's coming easier. Coming down. Yes, yes, we did it. Okay, little screw, go away. Okay, we have three tiny screws over here. Sorry, guys, this is big zoom, but that's gonna be worth it. Check this out. Okay. So here we have MediaTek. I guess that's OC over here. All right, there is only one thing is left, is to power it up and see how it works. Okay, let's uh, hook up to the micro USB charger or power supply. And nothing happening out of, just like that. Uh, let's try, I'll try pressing some, oh, well, it's, oh wow, it's turned on. Okay, I just 
plug it in and turn on and you can see the calendar I assume it wants me to um, set up current date and time um, I don't know how to all right okay so here we are I guess this is the main menu looks like I totally skipped the date and time uh, I think Mm -hmm. So this button goes down, this button go back, assume this button gonna be right, this button gonna be, I guess, up. I see how it operates, so down, down, up, up, left, right, right. Okay, so let's go back to the main menu. Uh, so the, right now it's selected messages, so I guess it, the thing can read or at least display messages from the phone. Then sport, I have no idea what is that, that news I guess, music, camera, uh, this music can con uh, this play, thing can control music, um, then you can control camera I assume. We can have find phone functionality, stopwatch functionality, a timer, alarm, settings, date and time, Bluetooth, oh, Bluetooth control and power off. Very nice, very nice. Settings, what's in settings? Language, oh, invert color, cool, cool. About device, reset, that's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty basic. So uh, I think we are facing here pretty basic functionality of this uh, smartwatch. Uh, so obviously on its own, it's pretty much useless, so you have to connect it to the phone. Let's see. As far as I know, this thing works only with iPhones and has to be a certain version of iPhone, uh, I believe. Uh, I don't know what uh, version it is because I'm not an um, iPhone person, so I have only one, uh, I think it's 5C, uh, lying around, which is pretty much um, uh, unused. But let us let me try to connect it to the uh, mixed style Jenna or Jenna. Okay. Here is the iPhone. It is in a uh, it has Bluetooth powered on. Um, I guess <laughs> obviously we have to power on the Bluetooth on this um, smartwatch and it's processing. Bluetooth is on. Okay, uh, looks like it sees the device called Yukar 000. Very interesting. Let's connect to it. Bluetooth pairing request pair very. Interesting. It's whoa! It's oh! It has vibro. Oh, obviously, as we see, it vibrates. Okay. Well, it is connected. So, what can we do? I guess the very first and easy thing it will be to uh, try play some music or um, control some music. Is it? Uh, let's go to very very hard to press buttons or camera. Oh camera is the best. Let's try camera. Please first launch camera up on the phone. Let's find camera up. Yeah, sure. It is launched and let's go in there again. Let's go again. Oh, okay, it just... Okay, gonna do camera through the camera. It's very hard to do, but let's try. Works! Pretty good. Uh, so I, I assume this thing can read also messages, but I won't be able to send any message to this phone because I don't have a SIM card in it. Um... Oh, fine phone. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. This first Euchre up. So apparently there is some kind of Euchre up from iPhone. So I don't have any kind of Euchre up installed. So I I don't even know if this app exists. As I mentioned earlier, this uh, device is kind of discontinued. So I will gonna look for it. But I think that's pretty much it we can do. Obviously we, 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 there is a, uh, there is a, probably another interesting thing would be to control music. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's, oh yeah, it shows over here, it controls, it's like forward uh, volume up, I assume, and reverse, sorry, forward volume down, reverse volume up, and stop play. 
obviously it's not playing anything because I have no... Where is the music here? This foreign technology iPhone. I don't know, is this not even my library? It's thinking. Okay, well, the thing thinking, let's see what's, what else is in the phone. Sport. I'm curious what is sport. Let's select it. S oh, it calculates steps. Haha, <laughs> interesting. That's actually pretty cool. But if it calculates steps, it's supposed to have an accelerometer in it. Uh, so, uh, obviously, it's pretty pretty nice feature. It's powered on. Mm, uh, okay, it is on, but uh, how do we go back and calculate the... Oh, okay. I guess... Oh, okay, 11 steps. 16 steps. The only one steps. Okay, well, I love my exercises. Just sitting here by the table, just waving the hand like that, and counting steps. It's pretty awesome. Um, okay. Um, okay, this is pretty, uh, it's good to have. It's a nice feature. Uh, messages we already looked at. Let's go back down. Camera looked at. Find phone. Not gonna work. Stopwatch and timer. I assume this is like built-in feature on there. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Go, go, go. Ju -ju -ju -ju. Going. Pausing, resetting, going back. Well, overall, music I assume not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Let's forget about music. I assume it's gonna just work, work just fine. Uh, so conclusion, conclusion. It's actually pretty promising. I would like to play uh, more with this device and actually make something useful. Also, would like to have. Um, to know if it's ever possible to make this uh, device work with Android, but it might require uh, yeah, developing some sort of profile for Android type of phones because I'm not really familiar what's so special between uh, uh, controlling uh, working with uh, iPhone versus uh, over Bluetooth. Uh, versus uh, Android because, for example, AVRCP is, is standard, uh, message protocol is standard, uh, and other protocols are. So, uh, PBAP and MAP, all this stuff is, is pretty much standard, and I don't know what, why this thing is not working with Android, but it cannot even pair. I already tried it off screen, obviously, not to drag on on this video. And uh, I, this is, I think it's pretty promising, and it's not expensive. You can really play. The problem is uh, support. Zero, zero support, not much uh, documentation uh, about this device. If I find anything, I'll obviously post it, I'll share it with you, but so far what I have uh, is not much. Um, I hope this thing, for example, uses some sort of standard uh, IDE and APIs which are available for one of the bigger manuf um, silicon manufacturers. Uh, again, I would like to look into it and to see what people do, but I must tell you right away, there is not much going on about this device, and I think it's pretty much an oddball which was uh, kind of... Um, started on the hype of these uh, smartwatches, but now it's, no one needs it anymore uh, but I really really like to have some even a little bit more advanced device like this maybe with color screen maybe with a little bit more features uh, better battery battery maybe like square form factor and uh, yeah it will be amazing to tinker and play with so thank you uh, thank you very much guys for watching the, this video this is like mostly overview and um, any more information I'll, I'll find on this I will gladly share well, thank you. It's a yeah, next time.